Hello everyone, my name is Victor, I'm a totally blind gaming journalist, accessibility advocate, consultant and tester. Ghost of Yoti has just been released today and uh, we are taking a quick look at the accessibility options in the game. For this, uh, my wife Alina will help because as far as I know, the game does not offer text-to-speech functionality. Also, I need to tell you that right now and during the logos and everything, we have like super nice haptics in the controller. I'm going to pass the controller to Alina and she will take it from here. Okay, so hello everyone. Let's see what we can do here. So the first screen is for us to adjust brightness until the wolf's eyes are barely visible. Okay, let's see. We have our TV calibrated, but... Okay, barely visible. I think I think this would be it. Nice screen. It's a tree on fire. Okay. Difficulty. Easy or casual. I think we're gonna go for casual. I like cozy games. Zero difficulty. Zero difficulty, says Victor. Yes. Uh, experience. You can have a standard one with English dialogue with no subtitles. You can go subtitle. You can go Samurai Cinema. This is Japanese dialogue. Should we? No. No. We shouldn't. And Kurosawa modes, black and white filter with Japanese dialogue and English subtitles. Yeah, from the director. So yeah, go with standard stuff and subtitles because you need those. Yes, I do need English subtitles. I feel very, very nice when I have those on. Okay. The image is switching from the upper part of the tree downwards. Someone is crying on the floor. Oh, I see a couple of dead people. We have subtitles and she's called Atsu. What are we going to do with this one? Saito. She meets with the snake now. Make an example. And with Lord Saito. Try not to speak over voiceover. I'm sorry. It came to this little wolf. He stabbed her. In the shoulder. Haptics? Yes, haptics. Sadly, no audio descriptions. Everyone has left her. She's tied with a sword to that burning tree. Before she died, my mother told me stories of Onryo. Ruthless spirits who wander the land, seeking vengeance. The night my family was massacred, I became such a spirit. Fleeing to the south. I was alone, hungry, and terrified. I found strength in the bruises on my skin, in the memory of a burning tree. But it was in war that I learned to kill. I bloodied my father's blade with nameless enemies, picturing the outlaws who murdered my family. After 16 years, I've come home to the wilds of Ezo. I will avenge my family, and I will join them in death. Every member of the Yote Six will suffer. Starting with the snake. Oh yeah. 
really nice. Does it look good? It looks amazing. Okay. Now she's next to a fire, drawing on a piece of wood or a parchment. Yeah. It's okay. a piece of parchment, and I have to use. Let me try. The touchpad. Yes. To write their names. Which are the names? Can you tell me the names? Uh, it just says use touchpad to write their names. Yes, but we don't see the names. No, but I think you need to start with the part of a V, as okay. I see it. Yes. Okay. I see, so I'm gonna guide you. Yes, like a diagonal line. Yes, and now we're gonna. Oh, I think that I, I think they are changed uh, Japanese. Yes. Characters. Yes. Okay, swipe up, left to top. Another diagonal. Another diagonal. Another diagonal. Okay. It's pretty hard if you don't have sighted assistance because you really have to be careful how you draw. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So this was the snake. Okay. That was the name of the snake. Probably. Yes. Yes. And can I lend you a piece of hand? Yeah, but I don't want you to play. You know what? I think we need to do this. What? I don't think. What does it say? We can go into settings right now. Try. Right. Oh. Yeah, we can go we into can. settings. We can. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So the menu is on the left hand side. Uh, the first one is about controls. You see uh, on the right hand side, you see the settings, like which button is for A, which one is for interaction, quick fire, and so on. Okay. Uh, I don't see any way to rebind the buttons. So I'm going to move on to gameplay now. Here you can choose difficulty, target lock. Enabled Put it or on. disabled. Put it on. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I just pressed X to go into the gameplay menu. And I'm gonna enable target lock. You can also swap on defeat. Okay. Yeah, when your opponent is defeated, you will lock onto the next available target. Perfect. That's a good accessibility Very settings. Good. Setting, right? We have photo modes, photo mode for archery, melee camera, last man camera, like dynamically look onto the final combatant in open world melee encounters. Wow. Wow. Okay. Dual camera, training reminders. Yep. This is very, very is interesting. Uh, golden bird. Enable the golden bird as a guide that leads Atsu to places of interest. Oh, yes. Good. We need that. I need that. Is it on? Yes, it's on. By default. Yes. Because I think it's it's yeah, on because I from chose... From those difficulty. Yeah, I chose okay. casual. Casual. Yes. Quick camp. Automatically shorten or skip certain camping events after repeated exposure. Yeah. Good. Okay, and a reset to defaults. Okay, so you can go back and see what. Yes, next. I'm gonna press circle to go back, and now I can go into the audio side of the menu. I'm gonna press X once again. Uh, audio output, midnight mode, audio oh. language, text language, subtitles, which are on for us. Uh, you can tweak uh, volume for dialogue music. Get the music a little bit lower. Okay, I think I'm going to go with 80 out yeah. of 100. That's good. Uh, S, F, X volume. Mm -hmm. Sound effects. I think we need sound effects yeah, yeah. like that. Cutscene volume 100. Leave them as they are. Yeah, controller audio is always a nice option. Cool. I'm going to leave that on. And the reset to defaults button. So I'm mm -hmm. going to press back. Now I can go into display. I think you've been here before now. I just tweaked uh, the, the brightness. brightness. Okay, but, but what do we have here? Brightness, UI brightness, 
that means HDR, contrast, graphics modes. Which it's, one is it? You can choose between quality, performance, ray tracing, or ray tracing pro. Ray tracing pro. Set yes. It on ray tracing pro. Okay, I did that. Motion blur, Kurosawa mode, which mm. we don't want. No. Mickey not because mode. it's not cool, but because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have a few modes like Kurosawa and Mike that are inspired by uh, films of acclaimed yeah. directors. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think we're going to go. No, we are not going with that with them. for now. Enemy status meter, which is on. HUD style is standard. Default. I like default. Show masking cutscenes. You can have this to off. Mm -hmm. It's off by default now for us. Show on back. Uh, this is Atsu's last used item on her back. Melee weapon, range weapon, and so on. And this is set to last used. You can uh, choose if you want to see blood or not, which is nice. Dismemberment on or off. For us, it's on. Yeah. And uh, that's it. I'm going to go back. Oh, I see an accessibility menu. Yeah. So, subtitle backdrop, which is off. Subtitle names, which is on. Uh, this uh, includes character names. so it's That's very good. I know you okay. love this. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I, I tend to forget Names. who's who, yeah. Subtitle, text color, large text. You can set it on if you want. Yes, I'm going to go for larger. Okay. Enhanced combat cues, we can have these as on as they increase the size of glint attack visuals to aid parries and dodges. On. Okay. Enhanced to invisibility. On, it's the guiding wind like we have be we had before. Yeah, but I understand that in this one actually it works. It turns the camera. Okay, we shall see. Yeah. Wind gust camera is off. This is interesting. When uh, the guiding wind gusts, the camera automatically slows. This is this is uh, yeah looks follow. in the direction. Yeah, this is navigation assist. The wind So blows. this one is to be on. Okay. It's now on. Yeah. Persistent center dots. No. no. Rapid button presses default. So yeah, I don't it's mind. Okay. Zenji Hajiki shot power display. Yeah. This shows the predicted shot distance of the Zenji Hajiki table. Okay. Leave hmm. it on. On. Why not? Forging controls, motion sensor function. You can have this or you can have it simplified. Simplified or automatic. Oh, uh, yeah. If you hold the controller in both hands, you can swing the hammer by pressing R2. Okay. Instead of rotating yeah, the controller. Yeah, okay. Uh, then you have campfire controls, which can be simplified. Yeah. Simplified button holds. Yeah. Aim assist. Yeah, it should be on. Well, let's go for on. Projectile indicator off. I don't know. Uh, have you started again? No. No? No, no, no. Okay. Dark flashes for blind bombs. Mm. When blinded by a blind bomb, show a dark screen effect instead of a bright white flash. I think we need that. I don't know. You decide. You are the one who sees. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna recheck after I play a bit. Off screen detection indicator. Oh, nice. Yeah, you Default. put it on. Yeah. It can be non minimal default or default with HUD indicators. No, I think I'm gonna uh, go with default. Okay. And then you have the help section, like small tutorials, I guess. Okay. Yeah, uh, attacking. Press uh, uh, yeah, square tutorials. to inflict to damage and okay. so on. Wonderful. We are going to stop this video here. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, ask anything that you want in the comment section. After this one, we are going to record one more in which I will try to play the game with the 
Alina just reading to me the information on screen just like OCR. Okay, so everyone have a wonderful day.